Hey guys, what's going on? We are going to go over the attack side of Hereford Base. Um, make sure to check out the defense side as well. It'll be linked below in the description and at the end of the video. Eventually there will be a spawn peeking guide. Hopefully by the time you're watching this up as well, description and end card as well. Um, but we're going to go over, uh, like I said, the attack side. Good ops to take here. Definitely take a Thatcher, a Thermite, and a Habana. I would take these three basically no matter what. After that, it doesn't really matter. Grenades are always good. I mean, Ash is fine. Um, you know, whatever. Glass, Montaigne could be good, Blackbeard. Definitely take a set of nades, or an Ash. Ash charges can be okay as well. And, um, some other fragging op. <clears throat> so we'll go over a couple different ways. Um, to take the basement first. Uh, and we'll move up. We'll go, we'll go from the bottom up. Let's do that. So, I think, obviously, the basement is the most picked site right now, right? Generally, in, like, ranked games and stuff. This game is no longer in competitive play. Um, it might be in the future. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. But, uh, um, just a couple, like, tips and stuff for you guys. Um, one thing you'll want to do is, even if this is reinforced, you can shoot this top part out. And if there's a battery right here, you can shoot it for free in case you don't have a Thatcher or something. But we're going to pretend that we have a Thatcher, a Thermite, and everything. I would still shoot that open to prevent the bandit from bat from battery tricking. And if he, he tries to ban the trick, you can just shoot him on top of the head while he's tricking from there. So we're going to open up uh, this Thermite, this open. And we're going to Thermite the lockers open. Now, we have a Habana, right? So we get to open up three more things. So we'll open up these two hatches over here. But before we do that, so you should probably have like say Thatcher and Thermite working as a pair opening these two walls, right? So like the Thatcher is um, holding and making sure that the bandit can battery juggle and the Thermite is blowing it up. Uh, then when he goes over here, the Thatcher will throw a Thatcher grenade, kill the batteries on the locker wall. And if there's a bandit over there, then he'll try to drop down and help out. The rest of the team, Habana probably should be droning, and the other two ops should be coming this way. So you'll clear with the drone and say like an ash or something running. That's what I was saying, an ash or some two frag knobs. We'll be running in and clearing up this area. It'll all be droned out, drone all the way down. Make sure to shoot the cameras on your way down as well. So clear all this out. Clear everything all the way up to here. And if you have one for some reason, it's good to put a claymore here. But you can also watch the ladder by just like sledging this wall or bucking it or whatever. This way you can hear when people are coming up the ladder and just shoot them for free. You'll then open this hatch. And you can go ahead and open this hatch over here. So that'll give you access and keep them worried that you're going to be entering the site or from lockers over there, or ladder. Um, another spot you can put a claymore too is if you have a claymore sand your thermite, you can put one here. I would take smokes though, especially if you have a glass. Um, so alternatively with your thermite charges, if you want to, you can maybe just make a peak hole through here with a Habana, and you could thermite this wall open. Why can't I Z mark? There we go. You can thermite this wall open, or, if you just want to put some pressure on this, you can just Habana this open. Because if you throw a Thatcher grenade in this corner, it'll zap off whatever's blocking this wall. If they, unless they're banner tricking, which no one will banner trick this wall. This will force them off of a green box. Or, I mean, they can sit in the corner, but you'll join them out and get pretty easy angles on them, right? And you can see from above on the ash spot, which is up there. And you could aim down on these people and shoot them when they're trying to run away or move or anything like that. Um, you could also throw grenades over the top like this this works both ways, right? So they can throw c4 at you, but you can throw grenades at them So if you've thatchered over here, it should have taken care of any ads systems unless maybe it's further out like on the bomb Which is normally over here So that's the stuff a couple different ways to open open up the map. So I would probably thermite thermite um, Open the two hatches of the habana and make a small habana hole over here to get the people off a of green box Maybe like a you know, face level or crouch level, whatever you prefer. You have full control of upstairs, and um, you have all the hatches open, you have all the stuff open. Nobody really plays in A, and if they do, it's very easy to kill them. You kill all the ADS systems, 
And you throw a grenade or an ash charge if they're sitting by the shield, and if not, you just shoot them. Um, this whole wall will normally be pretty opened up, so should be a pretty easy kill. And if it's not, then just get a drone, start marking them, and start tearing up the walls from lockers and from the delivery door. The way that I like to do this is you can actually t do this with a Montane too, which is like pretty cheesy. But you can actually just take a Montane and have him walk in because he's safe and just have him turtle plant in the corner, which I think is a really good idea. He'll get past all the barbed wire. The barbed wire won't be a problem. People throwing stuff at him won't be a problem. He'll just walk through and plant safely while everyone else covers him. Now, if you don't want to take the Montane, you can blow up all the wire, throw some smoke grenades over here. This is why it'd be nice if your thermite has smokes. Um, and just run in like this. The claymore is nice, but I think probably taking the smokes would be a bit better. Run in, climb on the desk, and then just play out the angles. Now, alternatively, if you feel like it, I don't think it's the best idea, but you can swat drop through this hatch with a, with a person. Thermite the green box wall. This would be why you would thermite this wall. And you would push at the same time from ladder, from the hatch. You don't even have to hot drop. You could just open this hatch and drop later once they're distracted with the people over at uh, ladder and over here. So you're, you have full control of upstairs, right? So there's nobody upstairs that's gonna be shooting you from these stairs. These people have cut off this angle. There's only one place people could be. You've cleared out lockers. They're all in sight. This is this is just like, like kill them all tactic basically. But yeah, you thermite this wall, have a person dropping there and have people attacking ladder as well as people like on the stairs and stuff, like lighting up this wall, ash charge some of these walls, just cause complete chaos, run in and kill them all. And, like basically surround them from every angle and kill them. Probably wouldn't recommend it, but it can work. I, I think the best way is just take a Montane and plant over here. He has his own smokes for this too, if you want to, or just smoke it up and run back here with Thermite and plant. Either one works well, but we will head over to the TV Kitchen site, which I actually think is the best site. All right, we are going to head to TV Kitchen. Um, ops, if you know that it's going to be here, I'd still take a Thatcher or a Thermite. And if you want to, a bomb is just never a bad choice. But the Thatcher and the Thermite, I think, are really important here. Um, Blackbeard's always good. Ash, fragging ops, lots of fragging ops, basically. Um, but we'll just take Buck again. Buck can actually be okay here. Same with Fuse. Actually be, be worked in. So, uh, okay. We're going to be going and showing... I'll go over first, show you guys with the thermite and stuff like that. Now, this is why it could be good to take a Haban over here, too, in case somebody's bandit um, and juggling. First thing you want to do is open this dining wall over here. You'll walk up, if there's any batteries on the wall, thatch them, and blow them up. If they're actively bandit tricking, which you could take a drone and check for. Just take a drone, check under here. Oh, he's actively bandit tricking, then you'll use, throw a thatcher, and hop on that over. But we're going to pretend like there wasn't any of those issues, right? So then you'll have your thermite go around to the other side. And some teams will reinforce both of these. But if they re only reinforce one, then Thermite, whichever one is not reinforced, or whichever one is reinforced, and Buck or Sledge the other one, or Ash the other one open. But if for some reason they reinforce both, try to take this container by burning the ADS, blow up the wire, and then Thermite the wall. Also having this wall solid and not blown up is kind of nice, because when people jump out of this window to flank you, they won't be able to do so, right? Which is nice and convenient. Now, another thing you could do, which I really never see anybody do, but it was something that we came up with as a fast strat a really long time ago, is you can destroy these walls with an... Well, you, I did it with an ash charge, is what I used to do it with. And you can actually just run through here. So any of these spots are like, you're able to run through. If you're a fast enough operator, you can vault over to the other side with Ash, like for example, but I don't, I don't know if it's possible to two-speed. 
or maybe they might have patched that by now or the vault pump's gone but at least this one 100% will work with any operator even a heavy like fuse or something and you just get in and plant really quick and then you can watch it from above so this is what your thatcher thermite combo should be doing basically or you can take somebody with you like a buck and ash or something like that to open up these walls i'd normally just open up the side wall this way they can't see you running in through this one so i would just open the side right here run in plants that's only if you notice an opportunity to do so um but what you'll what you'll basically have is you'll have people one person aggressing through here one person opening up all the front doors and stuff um, this is after you've therm your thermite thatcher combo is done. So like say thermite will go and stay in garage and then thatcher will come back over here once his job is done. Um, if I'm, if I'm a thatcher as well, I would probably want to put claymore outside of this window for jump outs or outside of the front TV window, which is right over here. So a lot of times after the bomb is planted, people jump out this window. Just put a claymore over here. One of the two spots is fine. Just put it down somewhere. So once again, like basement, um, you'll have your team clearing from top to bottom. The other three people, they clear, come down. Come down the stairs, just clear, clear. So this will be, you want to get everybody concentrated in these areas. And then at the same time, you'll have somebody pushing from dining. So dining should be taken care of. You have somebody putting pressure from red. There's not a lot of places left for them to go, right? I mean, they could play from below with C4, I guess. Um, not really that effective, generally. Um, it can kind of work, but really not that great. Um, but you can ignore the rest of the sites pretty much from this point. Because you'll be, you can come through piano and you could pinch this person that's in here. And you have control of red, so you could spray them to the wall. They'll probably have this reinforced. Um, but you get the idea. I mean, you could Habana it open if you really want to. Because we have a Habana, right? Then for, uh, for plant, you can plant back here. I mean, like, this is one of the spots where you can get seaford from below, um, you know, anywhere over here. It depends how much of the map you've cleared out or where you think it is safe to plant. Um, over here is good if you have TV site control. The biggest thing is for this site is you want, you have to get control above because all of this floor is spammable and if they have a pulse, he can just shoot you in the head while you're planting. Or if there's a smoke, like if I'm, whenever I'm smoke here, like if you see in the defense video, I make a really long hole so I can shoot people when they're walking in through this door or through this window. So definitely something to watch out for. I think it's probably better to try to plant in TV generally is in a ranked game, um, especially. Also, getting this person out of the site is very, very difficult unless you know exactly where they are. That's why I like to just get dining control, piano control. Get control of above and just pinch these people and get them stuck inside of stuck inside of kitchen over here and stuck down the stairs and all that kind of stuff this way i can just have a teammate walk in plant over here you don't even need full control of upper like it's very it's obviously really nice to have full control of upper but you can really just stick somebody over here as long as you're sure that this room's clear and you're holding this angle and you, you know there's nobody above your team he can just jump in and plant right Um, so that's just a quick, quick little basic overview. A couple different ways, and, like options for you to take from, uh, and then we will head to split. Okay, now we are going to attack split. Um, for split attack, definitely take a either a thermite or a habana. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I think it's a good idea to still take both, but it's up to you. Probably just one would be more than fine. You definitely need a thatcher. That probably a thatcher and a habana. I would say are the best. Um, and then a lot of heavy fragging ops. Having frag grenades is really nice here, so sledge, ash, whatever else. Does, it doesn't matter what you want to pick. Blackbeard's good, glass, obviously, always good pick. So the primary thing with the split site, which is uh, dining and kids' bedroom, which is over here, is you're going to want to get, well, wait till we spawn, wait till we spawn. But pretty much you're going to want to get this wall open to start. That's why I was saying to take a Habana instead of a Thermite because it can't be bandit tricked. Somebody is going to hard commit to bandit tricking this wall nine times out of ten if you're playing any type of competent team if you're on a split site. So you're going to make a line Habana. So you throw the if you throw the Thatcher grenade, you shoot the Habana charges, build the Habana charges before he can bandit trick. Right? Good to go. So this wall is open. That's the easy part. 
this hatch will basically always be open anytime you're taking. Now the way that I like to take the site, it's a lot easier than what most other people do, is to just take from top down again while droning and opening up some of these windows. And attacking from the laundry door and getting like pretty much pinching these people that are that are in sight. So your your goal is to is to pinch these people in. So you're coming in through the laundry door. You're coming from the stairs. And um, this is why I was saying it might be good to take a thermite because most people will reinforce this. But you can thermite this open and have another point of pressure to put on them. Um. So ideally, if you can take a thermite, and also if they're not hard committing the bandit tricking this be good um but i always think it's more important to get control of upper get control you only have to get control of two of the floors that's it after you have control of these two floors <clears throat> the hatch is open and the wall is open so as long as you have the wall open you can just plant in the corner over here and they can't see for you because you could have as you're planting you can have somebody give their life if they need to and just walk like all the way over here it's not even guaranteed that they'll die but you place somebody on the stairs to make sure you're not getting run up on the stairs. Always close over here so you can't get you know, Randy C. Ford. And then you have a person... You have a person push through the opening and dining. And make sure that you're not getting C. Ford. I would just hold this more passive in because remember, they're planning like right here. So as long as you're holding something like this, like if you hear the C. Ford rip, you could just peek and kill them. So it'll be, it'll be pretty easy. To do so then just get plant down that only requires you to take two floors a lot of people try to like open this wall and not directly fight these people here a lot of the problem is, is it becomes really hard to take this floor um because of how people are attacking it right like if you have a blackbeard hanging off over here just being like a pain in the ass like on repels like you can repel off of this little balcony and have a blackbeard right here looking and cutting off like every angle pinching these people so they can't do anything and then at the same time you have people pushing down the stairs you have people on these windows and you have somebody pushing laundry like it's a lot harder to hold whereas most of the time what i see people do is just simply walk through and just send five people like coming down the stairs which then you're just gonna get mowed down probably um also if somebody's holding the stairs you can open up this and see a bunch of nice angles Um, alternatively, you can take full control of the map and push them off over here. Get control of uh, piano from front door and push through dining over here and get control of both sites and plant behind the bomb or something like that. Or plant against this wall and watch it from outside. I mean, it does work too, but I think the way that I, I said to do it, like where you're just planning in this corner, requires you to take a lot less map control, take a lot less risk to your team. But we will go over the last site, which is uh, top uh, dummy storage, I believe it's called. All right, we'll go over the last site, which is uh, dummy storage. You probably shouldn't have to attack this site too often. Kind of more of a, I mean, it's not. It definitely is defendable, but it relies really heavily on spawn peeking and more than anything, probably spawn peeking. You shouldn't really have anybody play this in rank. There's a maximum of three sites that people have to play before it is reset, and then they could replay basement or ideally TV is what I would try to play. Um, but like I said in the defense video, basement is very defendable in like ranked and stuff. If you're playing somehow this gets back in the map pool, I'd go with TV kitchen in the current, with the current ops and stuff that's out. So essentially what you'll do is you'll be I'll, I definitely will need to make a spawn peeking guide, I guess, for the site, for sure. Um, really for this map, but for the site specifically, but get out of spawn safely. The biggest thing that you'll probably want to do, honestly, is without even doing coming up here, you'll probably want to sit on these like green roofs, these two over here that you see on the right, and shoot open all these windows so that all these people are suppressed and they can't like just pe they can't, you know, run around site freely, basically. You'll open every single window. You only really need a Habana for this. You'll open up this, this wall. If you have a Thermite, you can open up both, I suppose. Because right, you'd, you'd probably assume that they weren't going to pick this site, so you might have a Thermite, because you're supposed to be... probably want to take one for all the rest of the sites. So you'll open up both of these walls with your Thermite Thatcher. Um, you open up all these windows, stuff like that. 
You can also sit up in this tower all the way over here, and you get clean lines of sight all the way to like over here, which is a pretty nice angle. But you can also be shot back at pretty easily too, right? Especially if they're playing up here, they're probably going to have um, Valkyrie cams out, stuff like that. But you should just be absolutely destroying all the windows on this site. Putting tons of pressure on them. Get a person on this little balcony again. Probably a Blackbeard would be good to cut off the rotations. This way they can't freely move up and down the stairs. So this wall is open. The mat room is open. And this door is open. So you have a Blackbeard ideally sitting like right here. You have the rest of your team coming through over here. They'll want to take the mat room. They'll want to take wall over here and storage corridor. And pretty much at this point, you could just wipe the site. Look for cams. Um, I mean, you could just ash this wall or bucket open. And you could see pretty clearly in the site, drone it out, find out where the people are and kill them. I mean, there's not a lot of cover in any of these sites. If they try to sit behind this wall, you also have a Habana, even if it's reinforced, open it up. Like, there's really not a lot of places to sit. If you've made it up this far where you've opened all of this stuff and you have people sitting on these rooftops, or even if you just have the Blackbeard here and everybody else attacking, you should have already won at this point. You're droning this out, clearing. There's really only one spot they could sit, which is you know somewhere behind these walls. If they reinforce them, obviously you can't wall bang them, but you should. This whole site is wall bangable basically. Um, I mean, if not, that's why I said there's probably going to be a lot of wire, which I would just sledge all the wire. It's pretty safe over here. And then you can whip grenades over there, blow up whoever's in there, and just open up this wall and shoot these people that are in here. Um, if you have control of both sites, I would normally recommend, if you can, just planting back here. This is pretty safe. It's bulletproof. Plant over here. And then the bomb is normally right here, so you can hold this angle post plant. For anybody like coming through the door is generally a pretty nice angle. And people can help you. So the thing is, as well as you have your Blackbeard on the stairs. And you have this guy over here. Um, if they're, say, they're stacking a bunch of people in here or something, then yeah, you can alternatively go into here, clear it out. And then, you know, plant whatever. Plant over here or something. It doesn't really matter where you would plant. Just so that you can't get shot from this doorway if someone's running in. So plant behind the dummies or something like that. But yeah, like I said, you probably shouldn't have to play against this site too much. Um, actually, funny enough, it was the second... People used to pick Basement first and then this site after in Season 1, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, uh, that should pretty much cover it for Attack on Hereford Base. Like I said, I have a Defense Guide. Eventually, there will be a Spawn Peaking Guide too. It's Hopefully, by the time you're watching this, it's in the description or on the end card. Um, yeah, well, that's it, guys. Like I said, um, always helps me if you like and subscribe to the videos. Yeah. If not, just hope you guys are getting something out of it and it's helping you. And I will see you guys in the next one.